Hello, another video about making the body of the swan. So, making from the base which you've made in the previous video up to the like to about here. So, adding on loads of extra rows. It's not that complicated, it's just repetitive and adding on lots of things. But yeah. Uh, we had the base from the previous video with all the th with three rows. Basically, what we're going to do is keep adding on lots of triangles from your rods, which you made in the first video, um, until you've got roughly nine rows. So it's not that complicated because there's nothing difficult and nothing can fall apart really. But you've just got to keep going, and it doesn't take that long. It should take about three or four minutes really. But yeah, basically. You get your triangles, and however you hold them, just put one on top of two triangles, and one on top of two triangles, and one on top of two triangles, and keep going, keep going, and it shouldn't take that long. Can you see well enough? There we go. Make it a bit better. And keep adding on more and more of these. So you're putting one triangle over two separate neighbouring prongs of two triangles. So one triangle covers up two triangles but only half of those two triangles. I don't know if I'm confu confusing you at all but it shouldn't be too difficult. There's just lots and lots of doing this. I might stop in a minute and finish it or just take some photos of what I should look like after every row because otherwise you'll be waiting for a while. Okay, well, I'm going to stop now. I've done four rows. That's my fourth row. Um, so, you can count the rows. You can count one, two, three, four going down. Rather than going all the way down straight, you just count diagonally. So, one, two, three, four. And, yeah, anyway, I'll show you some pictures of the next rows, and it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, continuing, I've done five rows now, but just something you can do is when you're making it, it's, it's, it's quite flat at the moment. If you turn it upside down and squidge it from the, the points, you squeeze the points, it should become a lot more rounded. So it's like a cup shape with an open bottom. Just squeeze the top and there you go. And now it's slightly easier to add things because you just have it as it is and just put a triangle on top put a triangle on top a triangle on top a triangle on top anyway um, I'll continue the video when I've done more of it because I can't fast forward unfortunately because I'm not that clever anyway bye okay I've done nine rows now you should be able to count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's all right to the bottom. So now, if you look, it's a bit bigger because I don't know, it just is. Um, but compared to the actual swan that I've got, it's the base, the bottom of it, and it should have 40 points if you count the points, or 30 or 20 triangles. If there are any less or any more, you've done something wrong and should look and count and find your problem and see if you've added any triangles in somehow or taken any away. But yeah, you should have your base, which is completed. But it shouldn't be that hard to make the rest of it. The wings are mo the most difficult, but after that, you've got the wings and the neck and the tail, so... The wings, my wings are slightly different to most people's wings because I made this one without any kind of guide or watching any of the video, I just kind of made it so it looked kind of nice rather than orderly. The tail is just a little kind of couple of them which kind of isn't difficult at all, you can do that however you want, there are other kinds of tails. And the head is just a long line of them going upwards with a big triangle on the end and if you're special you can put a little coloured one on the end to look like a beak or something. And draw a face on if you want to draw a face. But yeah. Anyway. That's making the base. Which is this. It should be curved in like that. Also. Something to note. 
don't you don't want it to be like that so it's really curved in at the top and curves up you want it so it's slightly open at the top so squeeze it outwards a bit like that and then it should be like that it just gets out it gets, starts off smaller and then gets bigger and bigger and bigger at the top and isn't too pointed and that's how you should have it anyway bye bye see you in the next video hopefully